Hi besties, it's me and it's the video you've all been waiting for. Okay, that might be an over exaggeration, but today, <laughs> today we're going to be checking in for week four of March's budget. What we're going to be doing today is looking at everything that I spent, whether that be in cash or digital. We're going to be comparing that against my budget and seeing if I am on track. Now it's not as boring as it seems. We are going to be doing a bit of cash stuffing at the end of today's video and we've got loads and loads of fun stuff planned. So stick around to see the cash stuffing at the end. But we do need to get into the budget and we're here with my stunning March layout. We're laying down expenses from the Sunday the 24th all the way to Saturday the 30th. So let's get cracking bestie shall we? So on the Sunday, I put the last £20 into my car uh, for petrol and I didn't necessarily need it. But in my homosexual opinion, I feel like just because I've got the money, let me just put it in there anyway, rather than saving it. It just makes better sense to me because next month I might need it and I won't have the money for it. So that's what I'm doing. So the petrol filling station near me is an Asda, so obviously I couldn't resist not getting a Red Bull. So I got a Red Bull while I was there. I was running some errands on the Tuesday and I went to Tesco and I spent £11.33 on just absolute rubbish, bestie. You know how it is. The Tuesday was a no spend day for me, which is a nice trend. My ISA payment came out as well on the Wednesday, which was £10. I have figured out what it is, but... I just don't want to explain it to you. I also met up with a friend on the Wednesday and I went to Weatherspoons for lunch and spent £11.50. So then two stunning no spend days in a row. So the Thursday was a no spend and also the Friday. Love that for me. On the Saturday I was dropping off parcels uh, so I've got myself a disposal vape because I could and there it is there is the calendar that's almost done so we've still got Sunday the 31st to account for and we'll do that as part of next week's budget because next month's budget includes that one random day so in terms of no spend last month we did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 14 isn't that bad when you consider 30 day month nearly half for those days were non spends so not bad at all so this is the thing that i forgot in last week's video in case you were wondering but i did go in and fill that in but what i want to do first is move over to the check-in wherever she is here she is and we're going to go ahead and check in for week four so what I'm doing right now is I'm just filling in all the things that I know. So it's the information from last week, just so that I can have a better check in. Okay, so really quick rundown through this. So last week we stuffed £40 for petrol because we got the wild card, I believe, and I decided my rule was going to be save £10. We spent thirty-five eighteen. So 35.18, which would normally leave us with £4.82, but we're not going to roll that over. We're going to go into the change turn in a sec. For petrol, we don't stuff anything. We just give ourselves an allowance at the start of the month. I put up my credit card and then I pay it off. And I spent that 20, which means I've got nothing to roll over. I didn't spend any self-care because I'd run out of it. I was thinking I was going to get a haircut and I'm getting very close to needing one. So maybe next week. And then there were no unbudgeted spends. So really, really good. So all in all, last week we stuffed £40. We spent £55.18. Uh, but I know that's more than what we stuffed, but we also had the £20 left over. And we're rolling over zero. So that is like the world's easiest check-in bestie. So before I forget, let's move back to the paycheck bill tracker. Here she is. And let's just go back through it. So there's nothing really to add in here. So I did add in the vape and the car insurance from last week. So in terms of the bills, we had a pet. No, we didn't. We had phone, which is a little bit more. We had car insurance was a little bit more. I think I under budgeted there. Uh, we spent less on vape and cat food was fine, but it has gone up since. Uh, and then we had cat litter as an additional one, which we're gonna start budgeting for after next month. So all in all last week, we last week, last month, we spent £701 and one, which is about 40 odd pounds more than what we're expecting to. But that left us with £3,185. Now, when we move over to envelopes and take the 320 away, that left us with 2865 Then we spent 
2,670 on saving, which left us with 195. And then once we spent the 190 on saving up for home and putting into our ISA, we were left with five. So the buffer was five. So I think giving myself like a 40 pound buffer was like the smart thing to do. So she is now done. We are done with this booklet other than this last day here. So, you know, we'll see her again next week, but then we are moving on to deal with it, bestie. So we're here with Leap Year. She's beautiful. She's the moment and she is my Leap Year 10. We are doing the penny challenge in her and we're doing what we can whenever we can. So let's get the change from last week before we start stuffing for next week. And let's pull her out. And I think it was four pounds something. So one, two, three, four pound, 50, 67, four pound, 82. So might need a calculator actually. So we've got 482 and the highest number here is 361. So let's minus 361. That leaves us with 121. Can we do that? 121. Yes. So let's do 121 there and 363. Cool. I mean, I say this every week, but this is like the chillest way to save money. And somebody did mention last week that I shouldn't really shake the tin because I could tear the fiver. So I'm going to be careful about that going forward. Okay, now it's time to cash stuff. And we've got this binder here. So let's move into her. We have got some spending to do. Uh, but before we do that, I want to get this self-care money out. So this should be £100. So... 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Uh, I want that for the whole month. So rather than giving myself like certain amounts, I want that for the whole month. So I'm gonna put it in the bag. So it will do me at least two haircuts. If my car gets bad or anything like that, I can just do stuff to make sure that, you know, I don't sort of go down a bad place. So that's really, really good to have. But we are doing spending. But we um, all last month we were doing fifty pounds a week. We're going back to forty because I do feel like that fifty quid was excessive. And I know it was only forty quid extra in terms of what I was spending. But I do feel like it was taking away from my goals. So a twenty, a ten, and two fives, and I should be left with four, eight, nine, ten, one hundred and twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 40, 50, 60, 80, 120, perfect. So let's put her back in here and that'll do me for the next four weeks. She's done, you're good. And let's move her aside just there, I think. And we'll go into this one here and we're doing the solo challenge today. So last week we got the wild card um, after we reshuffled. So we've had a two and eight, a wild card as well. So I'm pretty um, okay with having whatever number. The only thing is I don't have any coins. So um, we might have to like sort of maybe draw once or twice just so we can get a round number. So I'm looking to sort of finish this challenge as quickly as possible, but I also don't want to leave myself with no money. So these cards are done and we're going to split the deck here and see what we get. A three. Now, do I risk trying to get a seven? Oh, I really want to get a seven. Oh no. Got a plus two. A four, four, five, six, seven, and a one, eight. Do you know what? I'm gonna call that 10. I'm gonna call that 10 and chuck it in. So it was eight, it was, we did four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's fine. So there's still some scary cards in there. So the card we are looking to avoid is well, the thing is though, we, it's better to get this one as early as possible because what that one is, is you save 10 and put every card except for this one back in the deck. So ideally we'll get this one next week so we can bring all the cards back in uh, because if that's the last card drawn, you put every card back in except for this one. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And I know I'm over saving and that's just because I don't have coins and it just makes it easier for me. But if I did have coins, I would surely be doing it that way. So, solo's done. So let's get rid of her and then let's stuff my 30 pounds. So 30 pounds is more than enough for me. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, 
the reason why I decided to take it down by ten is because you know sometimes I'll end up with forty quid, and all I do is buy like snacks and junk with this. So with snacks and junk becomes eating a lot of snacks and junk, and that doesn't always make me feel amazing when I do that. So having that not available to me is a better thing, and then I can be a bit more thoughtful with how I treat myself, if that makes sense. But anyway, that was my check-in. I hope you enjoyed it. Hi guys, guys, and I'm Bonnie Ross. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are going to comment, please use this emoji. How often do you check in? Do you do it every single week like I do? Or do you save it for every two weeks, every payday, every month? How often do you do it? And how important is it to your budgeting routine? I know that if I didn't check in, I think I would fall off the rails very, very quickly. But I'm interested to know what your routine is. Please let me know in the comments down below. Have you considered becoming a channel member or a Patreon? Patrons get exclusive content sneak peeks and significant discounts off my Etsy store. Channel members get early access to every single video. In fact, they've seen this video long before you have, Bestie. The credits you're seeing right now are the old credits. They will be updated for the next one. So if you want your name to appear in the title row and you like the sound of those perks and you like the sound of me, have a look at the links in the description. You will not regret it, Bestie. That's all we have for the check-in this week. So until the next one, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And basically, I'm going to leave you with the budget check-in playlist. This has got every check-in I've ever done. It's an absolute view. Watch it from the start. Have a look. If there isn't a long red strip along the bottom, it means you haven't watched it yet. And I'm disappointed in you. And you need to get your bum watching it.